This Jameson Distributors workshop video will show you how to splice a rope, which is used when making a loop at the end of a rope with minimal strength loss. Here's the video with the step-by-step -step instructions. Tie an overhand knot roughly 12 feet away from the end of the line. Slide the cover up towards the knot and then gently milk it back down. Cut off the extra bit of core sticking past the cover. This should be about one or two inches. Measure out one fid length, mark the cover, and then mark out an additional two-thirds fid length. You will see hash marks on the fid showing at this location. From the end mark, measure and mark your loop size. Extract the core at both ends of the loop size marks. For the exit closest to the end of the line, remove the core completely from the cover. For the exit closest to the knot, only slide back the cover. Mark out two full fid lengths on the fully exposed core. Bury and taper three inches of cover in the fully exposed core and use tape to keep the cover and core together. Milk the cover that will cover the eye down and mark where the cover stops on the core. Take your fid and tape it to the core. Insert the fid at the mark you just made at the cover core intersection. Bury the fid until you reach the first mark on the fully exposed core you made. Exit the fid and continue to bury the core. Slide the core down and then evenly taper the exposed core three strands in each bundle. You want to have three bundles of tapered strands. Milk the core back over the tapered core and then work the cover over the spliced cores. Taking time milking down the cores will make for an easier splice berry. Use a mallet to help massage the core and cover in place. Insert a pipe or dowel in the middle of the overhand knot to make it easier to release after being loaded up. Use a hard point that you can pull against to snap in the splice. A metal tube in the center of the splice is good to pull with. Sharp pulls, along with milking the cover from the overhand knot towards the eye, will help with the eye covering process. As a finishing touch, you can whip the joint in the cover. You can find rope and all of the equipment needed to splice a rope on our website at jamesonddistributors.com.